Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, November 27th, entitled Yes and No. Now, Sunday mornings we were talking about lying, talking about those little things that create what I call stress cracks in our credibility and our character. It reminded me of one of the passages from Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount. In Matthew chapter 5, beginning in verse 33, he said, Again you have heard it said by people long ago, Do not break an oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vow that you have made. In other words, they were making oaths. They were making promises. They were making vows that this is what I will do, or this is how I will act, or this is where I will go. And he goes, Don't break those, because in their day, just like in our day, a contract is only as good as the character of the person that writes it. We can put it down. We can even try to be held accountable to it. But the thing is, our character is either going to hold us or it's going to betray us. So he goes on to say, but I tell you, don't swear an oath at all. It's not necessary. Shouldn't be necessary. Now, what did they swear by? He goes, do not swear by heaven, for it is God's throne. You don't want to be calling into account heaven and then be breaking an oath. He goes, or by uh, the earth, for it's his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it's the city of the great king. Don't swear by your head, because you can't even make one hair white or black. Now, the question is, why do they swear at all? It's because they were trying to add credence to something more than just their own word. If they swear by heaven, then they are more bound than if they just said, yes, I will do this. If they swear an oath, the person feels like they're more committed than simply saying yes or no. Jesus finishes up and says, don't swear at all. Sim all you need to say is simply yes or no, and anything beyond that comes from the evil one. In other words, he's saying, if my yes or my no isn't enough, then there's something wrong with my character. There's something wrong with the quality of the person that I am. If people go, well, no, your yes and no isn't going to do it. You're going to have to go way beyond that. Then there is a place where they either don't really know me or something in my character has betrayed their ability to truly trust. Now, I realize in business, people are so paranoid that they want to contract in a uh, some type of agreement for everything. Because of why? Because the world is not worthy of its yes and no. Because over and over in business, they've been burned, they've been hosed. But in my personal life, the question is, can I say yes and no and people believe me? To go, if John said yes, it's done. If John said no, it ain't going to happen. I know the man. I've watched him. I understand that when he makes a decision, he's going to walk it out. He's not just going to do it when it's easier, or when it's comfortable, or when it doesn't cost him anything. He's going to do it because that's the type of person that he is. I know several people like that, that I trust. I know when they say they're going to do something, it's going to be done. My wife is one of them. When Paula says, I'll take care of that, never have to ask a second time. I know it is done because I know the quality and the character and the fact that she will not put something off. She does it immediately. Again, in our lives, do people trust us like that? Do people look and go, if they said it, it's good as done? That's about quality of character. That marks who we are. And that's what God has asked of us. So let's pray. Father, Lord, I know that's the man I want to be, the man I strive to be. Lord, I ask that as we realize how important integrity is, that you would continue to help us to walk in it, to become more faithful as our commitments, to walk them out. And that, Lord, as we do, uh, Lord, we'll find very quickly that we don't have to swear or uh, go out and make elaborate claims that people will just believe a yes and a no because our character, our integrity is intact. Lord, let that mark our lives as we follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. So let your yes be yes and your no, no. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you Sunday.